if we can put our stuff down with people and be prepared to allow people to have made mistakes in the past the way we did. You now we all make mistakes, folks. That's how people learn. Sometimes it's a little more difficult for some people than it is for others. Sometimes it takes people a lot longer to see what they're involved in than it does for others. And I'll tell you, the more successful you are within the matrix, within that system, the more money you get behind you, the more possessions you get behind you, the more you are riding that wave, the harder it is for you to see what you're involved in because you get caught in that wave. You get caught in that economic system. You get caught in that social model. You just get caught up in the whole matrix, the whole false reality, the whole pursuit of fun rather than the pursuit of freedom, the pursuit of knowledge, the pursuit of wisdom. You know, we go for the pursuit of information, the pursuit of stuff, the pursuit of stuff that we think will mean something according to our social status or will improve our social status because we think our social status actually means something. You know, all these artificial parameters that we're given, we very often think this is what it's all about. And I guarantee, folks, that once you get in there and you start making money and you start riding that wave, that's all you can really see. That's all your focus becomes. You just don't notice what's happening with the rest of the world. You don't notice the control grid because it's all working for you. You can't see that there's a problem. You've got plenty of money. You've got all the opportunities. You've got all the resources that you need. It's all working out for you. So you can't really see what the problem is. You just think, oh, there's a lot of people out there who complain about things. But hey, this is the land of the free, the home of the brave. This is a place where anybody can make it. Look what I've done. I started off in this little small town in this little small city and now look at me I'm a successful millionaire that's what people think so they think that the whole system is real and that it does actually mean something you know if they ever get time to stop riding that wave and to actually sit back you know they get enough money that they actually think well perhaps I can take some time off and sit back and enjoy it and open up this oyster that I've found at the top of the world here once they do open it they realize that it's an empty shell there's nothing there all of it didn't really mean anything. Perhaps they will get time to think about their lives a little bit, but not while they're riding the wave. While they're riding the wave, all that really matters is the wave because that's just the way the human mind works. So we need to take that into account when looking at these people and looking at this system and looking at the people we're dealing with. You know, half of the people who are involved in all of these really evil corporations and all these really terrible things have no real idea what they're doing. They're not inherently evil people. They're simply riding the wave, and they're not even aware that the wave exists. It's just what life is for them. It's just the way they grew up. It's what they grew up into, and it's what they've become. 